so here's that iron. I turned it on, heated it up. It's got that blackened tip. Now, you never want to leave your iron on sitting idle. If I left this on five minutes, came back, it just bakes on any any oxidation or any residue that's on there and just burns off that nice coating on that tip. Big no-no. So if, as soon as you turn your iron on, sit there, wait for it, test it on the sponge, see if, it, if it's heated up, it'll kind of sizzle and you'll know it's hot enough and then you know you're ready to start soldering. Now I just wipe this off on the wet sponge and it's still black. Not a good sign. When you wipe that tip off, on the wet sponge, you're going to want to see at least a brief moment of the silver being there. It's going to turn black because it's hot, but you don't want that black um, residue on here like this, or this it's just not going to work right. So again, I'm going to wipe it off, and nothing. It just doesn't wipe clean. So what happens with a tip like this when it's all black is that if you take your solder and press it on there, it doesn't melt. You'll get no connection or they call it wetting of the of the solder. If you press it on there you'll just get nothing. So when you go to try and solder with this your solder's not going to melt. And what happens is is automatically you think, hey my iron's not working. What's wrong? Well again, if there's heat coming from it and I can feel the heat way far up here. I don't have to get my hand close to it. I can feel that heat. I know that this iron's heating up. What's wrong is that tip. It's usually always a tip problem. Now this tip's not completely gone yet. I can probably go ahead and clean this up. So again, I'm going to wipe it off and see, nope, no silver. So what I need to do is turn this off and let it cool. And then I'm going to show you how to clean the tip off so you can oh. get it more black. It's all cooled off now. And um, there's a couple different things you can do. One, you can take a brass bristled brush. Okay, this one's been used a lot. And you can scrub it off and just, just rub it on there really good until you start to see some silver underneath there. Um, this one is uh, pretty pretty bad so a bristle brush is not going to cut it for this so the next thing you can try would be a file you can use a fingernail file or this is actually just a, a metal kind of file but um, and start sanding it now look at there you go you can see see the silver on there that's what you want to see now you don't want to sand it so much that you're seeing a copper because that's actually the middle core of a, of a tip so once you get enough black off of there um, I'm going to get kind of in the center here, and you can see that silver, then that's good. Um, when, you know, good way to know when to stop. So once you see silver, go ahead and stop. So again, I'm going to keep sanding all around this piece. And I don't really need to go up in this area close to the barrel. Really, it's just up here where I'm going to be soldering at. So again, just keep going all the way around. Another option is, if you have a really bad tip, is to use a Dremel-type tool with a rotary um, and you can take the rotary tool with a sanding file. You want to be careful with this because you can get really kind of really sandy with it uh, too fast and then you can get that finish off. So you can take the rotary tool. I've got it on low speed and you can sand off. You can clean off the black that way as well. Just kind of going slow on there so that's one way to do it. I'm going to go back to my file though, because a lot of times people don't have those tools. And again, I can just sand it off really good. Right in the center there I can see a bad spot. That looks like something got burned on there. This is an iron that somebody um, actually sent back to me to see why it wasn't working and um, worked out perfect because I could show you in this video how it is actually working. It's just dirty. All right, you get the idea. So once you get most of that off, I would get the center of that cleaned off too. Then you're ready to go ahead and start the process over. I re tip again that I just sanded off, and it still doesn't look real super clean, but we're gonna see what happens here. I'm gonna wipe it off on the wet sponge and get my solder and see if it's gonna melt it. I'm just kind of push it on there. Oop, yep, there it goes. See how it starts to melt it. All right, so yes, this iron's working, and it's just this tip that needs to be cleaned still. So I'm going to, again, melt the solder that's kind of sitting on my work surface here, and then wipe it off on the wet sponge. And melt some more on there. See how it's resistant? It's like the solder just doesn't, it's melting, but it doesn't want to really stick to the tip. That's okay, it can still work right, but you want to try and get that coating on there again. And it's just been, you know, fried on there so bad, that's why it's making it resistant. But again, sanding it off, if I need to, I may want to sand this off again. But melting the solder on and, and remelting it on there, 
and getting it tinned is the key to getting that tip back to working. Now if I want, I'll come in here with some flux and start working on a project and I can see that it starts to melt. I got a little bit on there. And then of course with that little bit there I can just take this tip and just kind of go right over top and melt that solder on there. And it's working. It's still a very blackened tip. It needs some more time to be cleaned and tinned properly. And wipe it off on my wet sponge. Aha! See there? We're getting a silver back. Um, the more you, you solder with it, with the flux and the, the solder together, the better this tip's going to get. So now I've got this nice sweet spot here that's going to work really well. I'm going to press my tip in there, I mean press my solder in there again, and you can see it's starting to melt. Kind of drop it on there. I'm going to kind of solder with the other side that's not as clean. There's just a combination of that, that flux and the solder together that help get these tips working back together. I don't recommend putting flux on your tip, but by getting that solder and flux together, it, it just helps to get it retinned again. So again, I'm gonna put a little more flux on here, and I'm gonna use this back side of the iron that's just not quite silvery yet, and just kinda come along here and just kinda melt my solder. And I'm really, I'm not working on this project, I'm just using it really to kinda get my tip working back properly. I'll melt it on there, you can see it's steaming up nice and good. Okay, now I've got some solder on there. I'm going to wipe it off on the wet sponge, and you can see it's starting to get silvery on that end there too now. So I'm going to get a little more solder on there, a little flux I mean. And again, I'm just going to press my solder in here. See it's melting really nice now. And just continue working around this piece with my tip, and I just keep kind of flipping it over using both sides. and and just smoothing it out and again it's just to get the flux and the solder all on that tip and getting that tip nice and clean and again wiping it off on the wet sponge is key just continuing to do that so over time using this this same iron tip it's going to get even cleaner as I use it using it with the flux and the solder together is going to help get it working really really well